Hey y'all, try this. We are back this year with our second time, well my second time doing the Aldi Advent Calendar Cheese. Uh, we did, we've actually been getting them the Advent Calendar stuff or trying them a couple of years. But last year was our first year making an Advent Calendar video from Aldi. And I started not to do this year's because last year's 20, 22 cheeses were identical to the 2021 or very very uh, if they weren't identical they might have been like one difference and i uh, started not to do it this year because i figured it'd be the same again well they actually did switch up this year and change out a lot of cheeses but i still almost didn't do it because they focused this year on completely pairing with your wine the wine advent calendar and i don't drink wine i can i just just I, I i do not like it period um and on the back it says uh experience a tasting voyage on the countdown to christmas by indulging in our premium selection of delectably crafted european cheeses then it says each cheese has been hand selected to add a blissful touch of cheese to your favorite holiday tradition pair and enjoy with aldi's wine advent calendar for your own experience like never before. Well, like I said, I don't drink wine and you can tell some of these cheeses are complete. I mean, one of them's called cheddar with port wine. The other one's spiced apple cheddar. I mean, some, so some of these, like I said, are just completely uh, wine based and I just didn't think I'd like them, but you know what? Like I said, I'm going to give it a shot, and let's see see how good they are. There's 12 of them, as people know. With their advent calendars, you get 24, but it's actually usually, usually two of each one. Uh, this year's cheeses are extra mature cheddar, goat cheese, mature gouda, <coughs> Mimolette, Mustard Gouda, Smoky Cheddar, Black Pepper Gouda, Spiced Apple Cheddar, Sweet English Cheddar, Black Truffle Cheddar, Cheddar with Port Wine, and Cheddar with Whiskey. So I am going to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yep, there's 12. Okay. I'm going to start opening until I have the 12 flavors. And we will actually start by the day. Uh, so this may take a minute. I'm hoping that they have one of each in the first 12 days. First cheese, extra mature cheddar. Uh, day two. Black pepper gouda. Uh, number three. Smoky cheddar. Okay. Did I miss it? There we go, day four. Spiced apple cheddar. Day five. Gouda semi matured. It didn't say that on this side. It says mature Gouda. This says Gouda semi matured. And I don't see that anywhere else on here. So maybe they got different flavors in here than what it says on the back. I might have to open them all. Cheddar with whiskey. In fact, I'm, I'm actually going to do that because that one says, that one is not one you're supposed to have. There's cheddar with port wine. Goat cheese. Backyard. 
black truffle. Mustard. Sweet English. You know what? <laughs> This whole thing just kind of tore up, so I'm just going to take them out. And we'll see what we got. Okay, do we have extra mature cheddar? We have two extra mature cheddars. Goat cheese. We have two goat cheese. Mature Gouda. said I only have uh, I, it only looks like I have one and it is a Gouda semi matured instead of matured um memo let um y'all need to be careful uh some people say eat it don't whatever they make up their own little rules this one is molded and I'm talking about not like mold. This is green mold all the way around it. And it has no air inside of it. It is still vacuum sealed shut. There is a lot of mold on this one. So take that for what you will too. That, that's, not, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Woo. So I'm actually going to stick that one up there. That's a memo left. We actually have two, but we make sure none of these have mold on them. So, all right. Mustard Gouda. Oh, wait, guess what, y'all? I found the other semi matured Gouda. There are two mustard goudas, no mold. Smoky cheddar, smoky cheddar. Oh, I am gonna be short of something cause there is three smoky cheddars. Black pepper gouda. Looks like that's where I'm going to be short. Looks like I've only got one black pepper gouda. Um, spiced apple gouda. I have two. Sweet English cheddar. No mold. <laughs> two. Black truffle cheddar. Got two of them. We got two cheddar with port wine. And two cheddar with whiskey. So, mine was pretty well done. There's only one where they got a smoky cheddar instead of a black pepper gouda. And, uh, I've got this super moldy mimolette. So let's get started, y'all. Let's give these things 
some rankings. I will actually use this one to show you my ranking. Uh, let's see what we want to start with. I am going with cheddar with port wine. It's like the regular cheddar flavor with pink in it. We can see the wine. Let's try. Cheddar with port wine. I can taste the port wine. I am not a fan of the port wine in cheddar. Taste the fruitiness. I can understand that somebody might would like this with port wine or something like that. Totally understand that. More power to you. For me, cheddar with port wine, it's not awful. It's kind of just a in the middle, kind of a eh. So I'm going to do cheddar with port wine. I'm starting him out in the middle. <laughs> um, saving a little bit just in case I need to go back into over a flavor of one. Uh, just to get this out of the way, I'm going to do Mimolette. Mimolette, 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 whatever it is. It's almost like, I don't know, it's almost like a cheddar cheese, but doesn't have a goodish flavor. Um, I would eat it again. I would put it, you know, on a grilled cheese, something like that. But if you want the cheese to give you a flavor, this isn't the cheese for that. This, this cheese is just there. I mean, I don't, I don't know a way to really describe it. I mean, bland eatable but I can't see myself going into a place and asking for mimolette cheese but I will give it a kind of a and won't even really give it a thumbs up just because it doesn't have any a flavor uh let's see what we're gonna go for next hmm Let's throw out the mustard gouda. Oh. Remember that? I will stick this up here so that I do not have to look at that more. Mustard gouda. And again, my, my rankings and taste and all this is of it as a cheese. Not as it a pairing with is as using it for food, for a sandwich, for a salad, something like that. I can taste the hint of mustard in it. Hmm. I can see using it on certain sandwiches and all that. Maybe a good pork sandwich. Uh, I give it 
Making a grilled cheese out my 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 gold standard though is what I make a grilled cheese out of it. Mustard goo none of these so far would I make grilled cheeses out of. Uh where it's literally just the buttered bread and cheese. No, I wouldn't do a grilled cheese out of it. But uh I could see the it on certain sandwiches and stuff like that. It's it's not bad. It's kind of a, a that too. Or not just would I make a grilled cheese out of it, would I eat it plain? Would I go to the refrigerator and take out some cheese and cut some off and eat it? Not not really. So that, that's going to be my gold standard for the rest of this video. Making a grilled cheese or eating it plain. Um, you know what? Well, no. Let's do smoky cheddar. Smoky cheddar. That is definitely smoky cheddar. You are hit with that smoke right off the bat. I can see the appeal of smoked cheddar in a salad on different sandwiches and stuff like that. Make you a hand sandwich for this smoky cheddar. I could even make a grilled cheese out of this. But I can't see myself opening the fridge and cutting some off and just eating smoky cheddar. Because I think... Let me see if it says it on here. Yes. It doesn't say this was smoked. It says they use smoked flavoring, and that's what I was fixing to say. This tastes like that bottle-bought flavored water that's called smoke or whatever. That's what it tastes like was, this was done. It tastes like they made the cheese and then poured that over it. So I would never take this out of the fridge and just eat it as cheese, but I could make a grilled cheese out of smoked cheddar. So it's actually going to take over first place right now. Um, to try to combat that, I'm actually going to go with spiced apple cheddar, and I'm torn on this because I, I don't, I don't know, I, I, I don't know how well, I don't know what spice they're using. I don't know if it's going to taste like apple. I'm not a big pumpkin spice flavor person with all the megs and all that type of stuff and it scares me that that's what they're going to use that's going to be the spiced part of the apple mm. I don't even want to eat this This doesn't taste spiced or apple in any way. I'm going to swallow it, but then I'm going to drink it because I don't want to get up and run and go. Oh my God, that was awful. Spiced apple cheddar? <laughs> no, no, no. No. I don't even know what that was. That was I didn't taste spice or apple. I tasted I tasted the smell of stinky socks. If you could taste that smell, that's what I just tasted. It tasted like somebody had been 
in the winter time had on uh, boots and had been working all day and their socks had gotten so rotten they got swamp foot and you could throw the sock against the wall and it'd stay there. That smell is what spiced apple cheddar tastes like. That is nasty. Man, that is nasty. If you like a, that's not even a stinky cheese. That's a nasty cheese. It doesn't smell. That is just nasty. Man. Whew. Mm -mm. No. 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 Y'all don't eat the, if you want a good uh, challenge, you want to challenge somebody to eat something, challenge them to eat a spiced apple cheddar from Aldi. That stuff is nasty. Whew. You know what? I'm, let me, let me put this, like I said, that's there. Mm -mm. I'm going to do black truffle next. And that's only because I know this does not have truffle in it without even looking. Black truffle paste made from mushrooms, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, pitted black olives, pitted black summer truffles. So it says it does actually have truffles in it. Black summer truffle. Black summer truffle, artificial black truffle flavoring, black truffle oil. And I know most of that stuff is not, is just, the name truffle is used, but it's not truffle. But it says black summer truffle. But I'm going to tell you, that don't sound good. I'm not a fan of olives. Black or green. You can taste the olive. If you like olive, this is the cheese for you. For me, uh -uh. Thumbs down. It ain't as bad as that daggum apple stuff, but I can't see using that in a salad, on a sandwich, grilled cheese, nothing. Um, I'm going to try to get my palate down a little bit. We are going with goat cheese next. Ooh, let's see what we got here. It's just plain goat cheese. And I will tell you, I do eat goat cheese. We don't have any goats right now, but we may be fixing to get some goats. And once we get them, we may make goat cheese. y'all heard a while ago, we do got chickens and roosters outside right now. We got, we run a little mini chicken farm. Pretty decent. Um... I will give it kind of a uh, kind of a midway to up to up. Um, it's got a flavor, at least. I can see using this in salad. Couple of sandwiches. Maybe a grilled cheese, but I wouldn't be eating this by itself. And you know what? I'm actually going to put it above 
mustard. You know what? I'm gonna leave mustard up. Mustard's still in it for a second. All right. Now, let's do extra mature cheddar. See what we got for y'all. Got a good cheddar flavor. A little bit. Not super strong, but strong enough that this would be this would meet both my, my standards for the top. Grilled cheese worthy and eating it alone worthy. It would actually go above smoked. Extra mature cheddar has taken the lead. Uh, we are switching to cheddar with whiskey. Let's see what we got with cheddar with whiskey. Let's see what it says in here. Cheddar cheese, milk, salt, starter, culture, whiskey. Salt. I'm going to have to do a little taste test on these, but I don't like that whiskey flavor. I'm gonna have to do a taste test between cheddar and cheddar with whiskey and cheddar and port wine to see which one of them is. <coughs> I don't know what sandwich I would use that with. I definitely wouldn't make a grilled cheese out of it and I wouldn't eat it plain. Um, Let's go with the semi-mature, Gouda semi-mature, even though this says it's matured. I like that. Gouda semi-mature. I would actually put it I would make a grilled cheese out of it and I would eat it plain. But it's not as good as extra mature cheddar. All right. Black pepper gouda. This is one. Some of these were from last year and I don't know. I don't remember how I ranked them last year. My ranking this year on them is how these specific ones taste. Last year, I could have had one above another. I could have had uh, mustard gouda over black pepper, and this year I may have black pepper over mustard. I, I don't know. I know them were some of the ones that were last year. This one is kind of strong on the black pepper. Uh, it's actually gonna go right there. Kind of a hang. Eh. I don't know what sandwich I would use it on. I might would use it on a sandwich. I definitely wouldn't make a grilled cheese out of it and I wouldn't you know, I'd eat it plain. We are down to our last one. Sweet English cheddar. I don't think I've ever had sweet English cheddar before. And I don't know what the sweet is gonna taste like. That's 
I will say though, I can see not as often as those, but I could see eating it plain. Definitely grilled cheese. So, let's slide these back. I got them in my little order, except for I'm going to try these two again real quick and see which one I think is better. Uh, Cheddar with whiskey. And cheddar with port wine. I could picture more sandwiches in my head to make with the port wine one than I could with the whiskey one. Y'all tried the, the calendar? Any of y'all tried? I've demolished the front of the box, but any of y'all tried it? We did. What'd you think about it? Uh, <coughs> for me, uh, most of these cheeses I would not buy. I would buy extra mature cheddar. I would buy semi-matured semi Gouda. And I would buy sweet English cheddar. I have more uses for that. The smoked, smoky cheddar, if it was actual smoked cheddar where they actually smoked it, not flavoring, that's a different story. But with that liquid flavoring that they probably put in it, a little bit less stuff. <coughs> you know what? I'm actually throwing the... Eh, there. There we go. I got my ranking done, and I'll tell you what they are as far as it goes. The first three that I'm going to tell you are all thumbs ups. The next four, eh, I would go five. The middle five are sideways, and the last three are down. So three thumbs up, five. What am I missing? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so I did something wrong. What did it count? Four. Never mind. I give the first four a thumbs up. I do the middle five sideways. And I give the last three thumbs down. And uh, now we'll tell you what, what they are. First up. Number one, extra mature cheddar. Number two, Gouda semi-matured. Number three, sweet English cheddar. Number four, goat cheese. All right. Number five, smoky cheddar. Number six, mustard gouda. Number seven, black pepper gouda. Number eight, mimolette. Mimo, I don't know what how to say that. Uh, number nine, cheddar with port wine. Now we're getting into the ones where I wouldn't buy them to use at all. Uh, 
cheddar with whiskey. It may just been the whiskey they used. I don't know. It don't say what whiskey they used. I don't know. But that whiskey was not a good whiskey. Um, black truffle cheddar. Not that good at all. And the worst flavor cheese I think I have ever had from Aldi. Spiced apple cheddar. That is just straight up nasty. Don't know who created it. Don't know what they made it with. It does not taste spiced. And it does not taste like apple. In my head, I had created a whole, okay, spiced apple. Kind of a nutmeggy with a little bit of kick or something in it. Apple. No. This is nasty. If you buy that, unless you plan on taking a, making yourself a spiced apple cheddar challenge, take this and throw it straight in the trash. Do not eat it. Uh, gift it to your worst enemy, maybe. Then again, if you did give it to them, they probably would come back at you kind of hard. <laughs> uh, nasty. No, no, no. So anyway, there's my rankings. Uh... Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, give a share. If you turn on notifications, uh, make sure you click on notifications and select all to catch all of our videos. We try to release every day or two, release a new video. We buy everything ourselves. Uh, we are neutral. We don't, you know, have anybody paying for something for us or sending us something say, hey, you know. <coughs> so we'll give you the best honest ratings that we can based on how we like things uh but uh thanks for watching uh and we'll catch you next time